Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, I do appreciate you stopping by. Look at this big bottle with the bright orange wax on top. Wax on top. What? It's got wax on top? Yep, that means somebody stood at the end of the bottling line and dipped each one of these bottles in wax so they could charge you more money. That's how I feel about it. <laughs> and y'all know that, guys. Anybody has been following me for any length of time, every time I get a bottle of this and I do appreciate Cody spending his hard-earned money on this but wax on a beer bottle is like tits on a boar hog in my opinion useless they just put that on there people say oh they do that keep people from from duplicating it or cloning it or doing some kind of crazy shit who's gonna spend the time to do that and put all and print up all these labels and stuff on their horse shit horse hockey it's so they can charge you more money. Well, it keeps the air out. The beer is under pressure. <laughs> it's trying to get out of the bottle, not let air in. So, and a lot of people have tried to convince me otherwise. It ain't working. It ain't working. It's so they can charge you more money. And that's how it works. So, with that being said, I'll start off with telling Cody, thanks again, my brother. I do appreciate it. Uh, this is Great Raft Brewing. Old Mad Joy Smoked in Oak 2018 Edition. Um, the note he says here, what a beer. It is a Baltic Porter. He said he had it on tap at the brewery. He said he loved this beer. And he knows I'm a bourbon lover as well. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as he did. Uh, they have several colored wax tops from previous years showing what type of bourbon barrels they were aged in. This Oak is Smoked 2018 Orange Wax Edition. This is aged in wild turkey bourbon barrels. It has awesome bourbon flavors with some smokiness. Also tasted some vanilla. It was least released on September 29th of 2018. He purchased it at the brewery. It was $15. It has an ABV of 10% and a bottle on date of 27, uh, September 2017th of 2018 on the bottle as well. He says, I hope I enjoyed it as much as he did. Well, I sure do hope the same thing, too. Uh, I'm a big fan of these bourbon barrel beers. Uh, so I am hoping it is not going to be disappointing to me, guys. The only disappointing thing to me about this is that somebody has spent time dipping each one of these in a wax container so they can charge everybody more money. Uh, when I went to Beer Advocates to look up this beer for the review, they have a 2015 and a 2016 and a 2017 and a 2018. So I looked at the 2018 edition they have there. It says Barrel Age Rye. Old Mad Joy Buffalo Trace with coffee, which is not what this beer is. So I scanned on down here and looked, and they had the regular version of the Old Mad Joy, which is not bourbon barrel age, and is a nine percenter. Where this is a ten percenter, so Beer Advocate does not have this beer listed. Imagine that. Well, imagine that. So we jump over to Untapped, and they had a bunch of different versions listed also, but they also had the Old Mad Joy 2018 smoked and oaked which is what this is, 10 percenter. We don't have the IBUs listed for this beer, guys. So, commercial description says, in our never-ending quest to make each release unique, we present smoked and oak barrel aged Old Mad Joy. For this release, we introduce a significant amount of German smoked malt to the mash, adding complexities of smoke layered beautifully with the rich malty goodness that fans of this beer have grown accustomed to. Release date September 29th of 2018, which is exactly what Cody said about this beer. So I don't know about the other version that was the rye edition that they did in 2018. Uh, I don't have that information, so uh, it is what it is. So Beer Advocate is out of this one. 
It's between me and Untapped on this one. So, final beer of the evening for me here, guys. So, if you will pardon me for just a minute so I can get out my knife and carve off all this little silly ass wax uh, so I can get my opener in there. Uh, did I tell you I wasn't a fan of wax? I think I did. But anyway, a lot of people think uh, it, that it is a useful thing. Trust me, guys, you will never convince me that it is. It's just so they can charge you more money. So, with that being said, let me see if I can do this without cutting my damn hand off. And I just think it's useless, guys. Uh, I'll be straight up honest with you. Uh, it's just so they can charge you more money and you'll never con convince me otherwise. But anyway, we're going to carve a notch in it and see if we can get our opener in there and get this uh, thing opened up without too much ado. I think I've got a big enough notch covered in, carved into it now and I didn't even get cut. Imagine that. So, here's the opener, and there's the cap. So, we got it off. Didn't get no wax down in it. So, hopefully this is going to be a treat. Let's give it a pour. Being a big beer at 10%, barrel age, we're going to go right down the center here, guys. And that's about all I'm going to pour, because I'm going to leave that for the other half. The other half gets the other half. Yeah, that's how it works here. And it does have 10% uh, on here. And we got the, the, the date it was bottled. Uh, about a half a finger of head on that pour. And, it, and they are calling this a, a Baltic porter. It is pretty dark. I'm not getting a whole lot of red ribbiness. Maybe just a slight hint down here around a thin part of the glass. To the nose we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm definitely getting the wild turkey notes from this. That smells pretty damn awesome, guys. Rich roasted malt, caramel, toffee, wild turkey, black molasses. That smells awesome. That smells like the perfect beer for the final beer of the evening for me. And you see the head didn't stick around very long, so let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Cody. I appreciate it, my brother. Oh, yeah. And everybody knows wild turkey is a little hot. It is a big ABV alcohol bourbon. And this relays that to me big 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 wild turkey bourbon notes wow a little bit more impressive and a little more hotter than most bourbon notes that i that i get on bourbon barrel aged beers right on the nose it smells like wild turkey guys it really does and if you've not had it you need to try it, but it is not for the faint of heart. It is a very strong bourbon. Not like some of the more subdued bourbons or easier drinking bourbons. Wild turkey, it will thump your head in the damn ground, boys. If you're not used to drinking that, you better drink it at home because it will knock your face down in the dirt. You better have a designated driver if you're not drinking wild turkey at home. Trust me. Unbelievable the wild turkey notes, but they put it in those barrels, so you're gonna get that big bold wild turkey bourbon nuts. Wow. Wow. Me personally, I like my bourbon notes up there and nice and predominant, but wild turkey is a little off the chain as far as that it's more it's more hotter it's more prominent it's more stronger than your typical 
easy drinking bourbons are. Uh, they make several different proofs of this. Uh, and the, the high octane version is not for the faint of heart. It's not for uh, new bourbon drinkers because it ha it's like it's like taking your car and putting racing fuel in it. I mean, it's it's that that it's that much of a high test compared to the regular bourbon. Uh, so, big strong notes from that. Wow, it's a little overpowering for my palate right now, but I like the bourbon notes. But this is super hot, guys. Super hot, high test, racing gas. All right, let me uh, let me step on this for a little bit, and uh, we'll see where this one ends up. Uh, I'm, I love the notes, but this is super hot, guys. Super hot. Racing gas. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. It's a little hot, guys. I, I will tell you that, being done in wild turkey barrels, this would be a good one to sell, her, in my opinion. Three, five, maybe even ten years or longer. Maybe let it come combine and get blended let it come together a little bit more. Right now, I find this beer very hot. A uh, little on the boozy side. Uh, not as smooth as a lot of bourbon barrel aged beers are, even fresh. But you got to realize they've done it in wild turkey barrels, which is a very hot bourbon to me. Very hot tasting to me. Uh, it's only a 10 percenter, but in my Humble, honest opinion. I think they could have let this beer have been bottled. I don't know how long they cellared it in the barrels or let it set in the barrels, but I think they let it set a little long to be a, a good drinking beer, fresh or hot. Uh, that's just my opinion, though, guys. I've had better bourbon barrel aged beers in Wild Turkey. It's a very nice bourbon, but it is a very hot bourbon uh, for the sink the uh, sh how shall I say this for the seasoned bourbon uh, drinkers uh, wild turkey is not your bourbon of choice if you've never drank bourbon before because it'll knock your face down in the dirt to be putting it pleasantly mild uh, it'll knock everything else down in the dirt too if you know what I'm going with that uh, I think this beer is a little hot to drink fresh. Uh, I think it would be better if you let it sell over for, for, like I said, three, five, ten years or longer. Uh, uh, it's a good beer. I don't want to. I don't want to demean it on anything, but uh, unless you're a seasoned wild turkey drinker, I find this beer very hot, very boozy, and the other half did too. You better be at home if you're drinking wild turkey or if you're drinking this beer aged in wild turkey barrels because even though it's just a 10 percenter, it's not a 12 or a 14 percenter, it drinks like a 14 percenter. It's that hot. So I don't want to put you off. I mean, you may think this is the best thing you ever tasted. Beer, beer tastes are very subjective, guys. Depends on what your palate is and what you like to drink. If you're used to drinking wild turkey, you probably will absolutely love this beer. But if you're not, you probably will find it pretty hot. Hot tasting anyway. Not hot as far as too much alcohol, as far as 14, 16, 18, 20 percent. But hot tasting for 10 percent. And it did, did not subside any, letting it come up to room temperature. I've been stepping on it about 30 minutes now. And it still tastes very hot. It's not a smooth drinking bourbon barrel beer. To me. It's good. It's very tasty. And I would probably buy this beer if it was available here, but I would not drink it fresh. So, Cody... I think uh, I think this beer needs to be cellar for a long time, buddy. Uh, but I wanted to do this because you kept asking me uh, uh, if I had done your beers yet. 
uh, I did it, but I wish I had settled this one a lot longer than I have. Uh, I think it would have been a little more enjoyable down the road. You, just my opinion, though. Um, it's just my opinion. So, uh, final choke. And I'm going to say again, wow. Super hot. Boozy. Not smooth. Definitely heavy bourbon notes. Heavy <laughs> wild turkey notes. And, 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 and there's a difference to me. Because I've drank smooth bourbon and I've drank hot bourbon. Uh, this is hot bourbon. Uh, this is not a smooth bourbon. Uh, and it tastes hot in this beer to me. So, uh, to me, guys, uh, it's, a, it's a very good beer. But I think it should be settled and not drank fresh. Uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, my honest opinion, I'm going to give it to A-. minus. But I think it's probably a 10 beer 10 years down the road. Uh, so, that's where I'm going to leave it. 90 for me on this because it's so hot and so heavy. On the wild turkey taste but that's just my opinion over to beer advocate beer advocate says this is a oh that's right um, they didn't have this particular one listed I forgot about that already booze 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 so it's between me and untapped on this one I gave you my grade untapped says it's 4.17 uh, a minus scale on those guys there too uh, not quite to the a scale in my opinion so it's unanimous for me and untapped uh a minus i think it's a little heavy on the booze guys did i say that i think i did so we're going to drop it from there uh i think it's just a little too much on the wild turkey uh side of the beer and a little boozy so uh probably a great candidate to sell her guys so, so. That's going to wrap it up on this one. Uh, if you've had this one, this is the Barrel Age Old Mad Joy 2018 Smoked and Oat. Maybe a little bit of smokiness in there, but the damn bourbon wild turkey notes overpowered everything else in the beer. So, uh, If I was to do this one again, I would probably sell this beer for at least five years and maybe longer. So if you've had it, let me know what you think. Till we meet again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.